with all three of Brad Cox's Derby potentials breezing tomorrow morning. The focus was on the Phillies. Jin Jin and Tarifa breezing in company bright and early this morning. Brad, talk about what the design was, what you were trying to accomplish uh, with Jin Jin on the inside and kind of leading the way early in the work. Yeah, uh, they went five eighths on the four and a half. Jin Jin kind of setting the pace. Uh, pretty good. Pretty put a pretty good rider on her. We were looking to break off in twelve and three, twelve and four, and uh, Tarifa set off just a little bit. I thought Flavian did a very good job. She wants to get a little aggressive. When she gets away from the pony. She kind of throws her head up. It takes her a little while, uh, but once they kind of get running and they're clicking off twelve, she's steady and she's in the bridle. She finishes up well. Uh, oftentimes with these fillies when they're they're as aggressive as she is. Sometimes they don't finish their works, but she, she did stay on very, very well. Flavin was very happy with her. I thought the track was very tight, very fast, uh, but in a good way. Um, I had um, Tarifa in right at 59 out, 11 and change, and super solid move, galloped out well, and uh, come back with great cooling out. So hopefully everything looks good tomorrow morning, and uh, just uh, score a few times, stand her in the gate once or twice, and we're all ready. We're set and ready to go. Sharif is kind of already there, coming off several consecutive really nice-looking races, um, whereas Jin Jin is sort of the improving filly. How, how much does she have to improve, and are you seeing her closing the gap? I like I like the move this morning. She stayed on well. Um, I think she's got to get a good trip. She's proven at a mile and eight distance. Um, she's won here. She broke her maiden here last uh, fall, September, I should say. So, um, you know, she, she's a good filly, and if she gets a good trip, she'll be right there. Both fillies are, are, are training great. I thought, like, once again, they, they matched up well this morning. They matched up well last week, and they didn't want to change a whole lot. So, uh, you know, we weren't looking to really go super fast or anything. I think the time looks fast, but the track is super tight. So uh, I was pleased with it. We'll talk to you tomorrow about uh, the workers with the Derby contingent, but a question about Encino, who you've kind of been on the fence since his Lexington win. What will you be looking for tomorrow and going forward as to whether or not he ends up in the Derby? Obviously, we need to see a good move tomorrow. That was kind of since the day after the Lexington, we decided, you know, we just see it, see how he trains and, and uh, work him one time and see how that goes and to make a decision. Um, his work, his gallops have been very, very good here. Vermont. He's moving fantastic. I think he wants been out here. I've had several people come up to me and talk about how good he looks and how he's moving. So, um, if you know, based off that, you know, I would say we're looking to run. Uh, we obviously want to get this work in tomorrow morning at some point and uh, see how he does and, and how he moves over this track. He moves well over Keeneland's surface, and he's never worked here at Churchill, so we'll see how he's how he handles the work and how he comes out of it tomorrow morning and go from there. Thank you, Brad. I'm sure we'll be talking to you a lot over the next few days. Thanks, Kate, for sure.